watching Scout Look Weathers Whitetail Slam. The whitetail deer is probably one of the most geographically variable species out there of mammals. And each one of them has its own unique traits. They have a lot of things in common, but they had unique habitat preferences, unique behaviors, unique rutting times, all of that sort of thing. And that's what's so fascinating about the white tail snail, is that you get to learn and see those unique differences that make those subgroups. If you look back at historical and archaeological records, we noted that the uh, ancestors of the white tail, in fact, three different types of deer, made their way across the land bridge from Eurasia somewhere between five and seven million years ago. And these three different types or even species of deer were very different, but the common whitetail shares some elements of each of those three. Uh, one of those resembled pretty much today's modern roe deer, which you'll find in Europe. The other uh, actually didn't have antlers at all in the males. They had large upper canine teeth, uh, which is still common in a few species of deer in other parts of the world today. The third had somewhat palmated antlers, but similar in overall shape and configuration to some extent to, to modern whitetails. But the only genus, the basic group of deer that survived uh, the millennia, was one called Otocolius, the hollowtooth deer species. And that became the ancestor to the modern whitetail, uh, the modern mule deer, and even the modern blacktail deer. So once those animals made their way into the North American continent, uh, they of course began spreading in various directions with the, the whitetail being the eastern species and moving in that direction. And of course, they took advantage of their amazing adaptability. They're the most adaptable widespread deer species on the planet. The deer or the deer family, Cervidae, are pretty diverse. They have a lot of things in common, but you know, in the North American continent, you've got the, basically the ones that are cl more closely related to whitetails, you've got the blacktails and the mule deer. Uh, blacktails being closer to, to whitetail deer behavior than the mule deer are. Of course, the elk is one that's drawn a lot of interest in recent years. It's a very popular and its populations are growing dramatically. Of course, the moose, I've been excited in the last few years to see, especially on outdoor programming, to see uh, hunters who are specialists and are very proficient at calling moose in. And that's impressive. When you call an animal that size into 10 yards, that's, that's incredible. And then, of course, the, the caribou. The various caribou subspecies are a real treat to hunt. Start your quest for the slam and register for the giveaways only at Whitetail Slam.